patient's choices in terms of what therapy to have for prostate cancer really are based on their individual situation and their acceptance of certain risks or benefits from that treatment. It requires a certain level of knowledge and understanding to make that sort of choice, and that's really the most important determinant, not necessarily the outcome differences, which are subtle between the different treatment approaches. I think second opinions are a, a good tool for a, a patient uh, who is supposed to become an expert in a short span of one or two weeks. And uh, second opinion can give him some very different views about the same problem. None of them right or wrong, it's just medicine is less of a science and more of an art. So they get different perspectives. They kind of sort through the biases which all of us may have so that they can make an informed decision.